Meet Sarah and Jim. They work in legal compliance. Jim needs to ship a sample chemical compound to a prospective new supplier for a very important new customer contract. The sample shipment needs to be delivered to a processing facility in an OFAC country within three days. Jim is shipping a miscellaneous sample, so he can't process the shipping order through the normal ERP module for shipping. Instead, he fills out a four-page PDF form and emails it to his supervisor, Joan, for approval. But Joan is out of office and misses Jim's request. Three days later, Joan returns to the office, sees it, and calls Janice in accounting to see what special accounting code she needs to apply. Janice takes another three days to answer, using her company's outdated manual to find the codes. Three weeks later, Jim gets the approval and is able to ship the sample, which gets held up in customs for another two days. Six weeks later, the sample is in the hands of the prospective partner. Due to the delays, however, the contract has already been lost. At Acme Corp, Sarah needs to ship her chemical samples to a facility in Copenhagen, Denmark from San Jose, California. Sarah fills out an online form with the details of the sample shipment. The system uses business rules to automatically route the request to the correct people in the organization. Reminders nudge the involved parties to complete their tasks on time. Sarah's manager has a dashboard which tracks everything. The sample, as always, is shipped quickly and efficiently. It is trackable and the correct department gets the chargeback with no accounting headaches. Acme Corp's miscellaneous shipping system is an automated workflow. Dynamic business rules orchestrate everything based on shippers, recipients, products, required licenses, and more to simplify an extremely complex workflow. You too can be like Sarah. Visit processmaker.com to learn more.